door with a kick. Open up a window with a brick. Open the discussion in a rush to push upon another one's own interpretations of the current situation and the attendant expectations thereupon. And what, in one's opinion, is to be done about it. Alternatively, open up a locked door with a key. Look into a window and see what's there to see. Open the discussion with a question intended to illuminate rather than intimidate. Open up just such a discussion with me. Open up a file with a double click. Open up a life with a double helix. Accept the invitation. It's an open one and it's on. Open it, 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 open it up, 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 open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Remain open to those who are kind enough to remind you to leave it open for anyone who might be behind you. Leave it as you found it. Climb up on or around it. It takes more time to make any given thing than it does to break one. If it falls to pieces, take one. Leave the rest for the next invited guest. That would be you, my friend. Open it up. Turn the knob, pop the tab, break the latch, twist the cap, crack the spine, and read the lines therein. That's one way to begin. Greet a stranger with a kiss and risk the danger of a fist. Leave a trail of change. Rearrange your workplace into a miniature manger. A nativity of creativity, if you will. A cradle of a new civilization. A nation of one. A wave which once begun will brook no denial. Then look no further than your left and I'll meet you in the center. In a rented powder blue tuxedo. Brandishing a bouquet and gesticulating toward the doorway on the other side of which languish lavish riches. Let's get out from under the thumbs of these sons of bitches and get up under some sky. You and I have business elsewhere in that big mythic out there. On the open road of which you've been told, of which so much has been read and written, it's time to smite and get smitten. Rescuing kittens out of trees, stealing honey from bees, shedding skin and scraping knees, shaking off the shackles of these four walls and three dimensions, and finally directing our attention toward things worthy of our notice. I say we go this way where the sign says do not enter. Let's register our descent and drive on against the arrows, against the hail of them hell. Let's get all bitch and sundance. In the presence of such abundance, anything less would be criminal. Let's open up our hymnals to the pages engraved within our rib cages. Let's open up like orchids in the rain. Let's rail like Dickensian orphans for change. Please, sir, I want more will in tone to no one in particular, since the miraculous falls into the jurisdiction of anyone with the gumption to rustle it up. And that's us, if it's anybody at all. Your guardian angel called and said, you're on your own from now on. Have fun, be good while I'm gone. The rest of the message got cut off, but not to worry, we'll just make it up from here on out. Pull a quick singing in the rain, swinging off a downspout into the late light of an all-night diner, spilling yellow neon splendor. A kind of blinding kindness that shows us our own reflections in the window, over a sign that reads, Come in. Weird.